Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to check bad blocks or bad sectors on hard disk in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually bad sectors is actually a section on your hard drive that cannot be read or written to because of physical damage on the surface of your hard disk okay so the presence of bad blocks is always a sign or alert that uh, actually warn you to start thinking of buying a new hard disk okay so first thing first let's first check the hard disk that i have so you can always execute command fdisk minus l in order to get the devices that you have in your system so here for example you can see that i have a first hard drive which has almost two terabytes okay so it's called dev slash sda okay i have also another one which has almost one terabyte slash dev slash sdp and at last we have third hard drive as you can see here it's slash dev slash sdc okay which has also one terabyte in size okay you can also use the command ssm list devices so ssm stands for system storage manager okay so if i execute this command i can effectively as you can see here in this table i have three hard drive sda sdp and sdc okay so let's for example test this devices here called dev slash sdc so if you want to test the hard drive for bad sectors you can use the command bad blocks okay okay so let's execute this command bad blocks so i will type the command bad blocks minus v for variables mode so you can see what's going on okay and then you type your device so in this case i'm using slash dev slash sdc okay and you hit enter okay and here we go you can see now that a check for bad blocks which is only read only test is beginning okay so you can always wait or there is another option you can actually i will show you here you can execute same command but this time using the s so s in, if you want to show a progress of the operation so if i type minus s and v and execute this command here you can see the percentage of execution of the operation okay and here the elapsed time so i will advise you always to use it with option minus s and v okay so i will break this command and also by default the output will be in the terminal but you can always put the bad blocks or the output of this command in another file so you can use it in order to fix your hard drive so if you want to put actually the output you can use just the pipe superior sign and then you type your file so you can call it for example bad sectors or bad blocks so i'll call it bad blocks.log so here inside this file you will find all the bad blocks if they exist okay or you can just use the option minus o for output here so i can just type here minus o for output and my file here which is bad blocks dot log so you can name it whatever you want so these are all the commands that you can use actually okay 
So as I told you, by default, bad blocks performs only read test. So it reads only the blocks in your hard drive. So if you have some data in your hard drive, they will not be overwritten. Okay. So it prevents you for data loss, okay? But you can always, or if you want, performs also write operation on sectors. In this case, you will add here option W for write. But keep attention when you use this option here, minus W for writing, actually your data will be lost because the program will try to write a patents into the sectors and check if the writing is succeeded or not okay so in this case data lost will be actually an option here so i will advise you always to avoid this option here w and use just the read only mode for checking for bad blocks okay and of course you can always or if you want use smart tools so for example i will use here the smart set the l command in order to check for the size of my blocks so if i type this command here which is actually from the package smart tools so minus i for information about my hard drive dev stc here you can see clearly that the size of sector is 512 uh, okay bytes so in this case you can use actually this size here in order to check for blocks of 500 12 bytes so if you want to use the blocks using the command here you can add option minus b for blocks and specify the size of your block which in this case is 512 bytes okay because by default bad blocks use 1024 bytes as a block size but you can specify the block size depending on your hard drive so these are actually a typical command that you can use whenever, whenever you want to uh, install in your hard drive and check for bad blocks. Okay, so I can name it like that and I can execute my command and here you can see how many the total of blocks it will check. Okay, so I would advise you always to, to use this command if you want to check in a new or old or used hard drive for bad blocks before using it or installing or putting in any data into your hard drive. Okay, so that was just a brief introduction how you can use the command bad blocks in Linux. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.